everybody and a very warm welcome to this week's episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. It's episode 20 so far. Um, my name is Nadine. I'm writing for souldisco.de and this week it gets soulful and bluesy. We haven't had so much blues so far so I thought this is a nice addition because I have that record I had it in my shelf for years and years and years and uh, I gave it a spin some weeks ago and I thought there might be something to present to you guys. Um, in one direction of that record I have kind of mixed feelings but otherwise the songs are great so uh, why not showing you the record. We talk about the great legendary blues singer C.C. Hill. So C.C. Hill, like I said, is a, a well-known name in the in the blues scene. He had his biggest success with his 1982 album Down Home, which stayed in the charts for about two years. Sadly, in 1984, he had a car accident. And I think about two weeks ago, two weeks after the car accident, he died because of a blood clot um, in his heart. So that's quite a shame. He was, I think, in his mid-50s, beginning of his 50s. So. He had quite some time left actually to to give us some more great blues music but yeah well um, he died uh, anyway he left behind a great legacy and especially this album from 1971 it's a concept album and concept albums were the big thing in the 70s we have Marvin Gaye's absolute masterpiece what's going on uh, David Porter had a great um, a great concept album. We have Melly Jackson's album. If you don't know Melly Jackson's Call Up album, switch a few episodes back where I talk about it. It's an absolutely gorgeous, outstanding album. I love it to death. And CC Hill made a concept album. And on the back, uh, I talk about the condition of the record later on. On the back, and that's, I think that's so cool because I haven't seen that before. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it says uh, Act 1, Scene 1, and uh, we have uh, the, the talking parts described and the, uh, the songs that come with it. So, um, you know, it starts with Blues at the Opera, Communication in regard to circumstances. You have Act 1, Scene 1, It Ain't No Use, Scene 2, Ha Ha Ha, The Laughing Song, Act 2, Scene 1, Second Chance, Scene 2, Our Love is Getting back Better, Act 3, Final is Faithful and True. And then we have side two. The songs on this album are absolutely great. I love them. He has a great voice, it's great arrangements, it's been absolutely gorgeous. What I don't like about this album is the talking part in between the songs. For me, I wouldn't say ruined because that's a very tough word but for me it's a kind of distortion in between the songs to get the right flow into that album so um, well that, that's a little you know on, on the downside but otherwise musical wise it's an absolutely great album and a one you should you should give a listen what we will do right now Get in the That's out of sight. Look out, girl. Now get on back now. Look here, baby. You better not keep that up. You're going to fool around and get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> get on back, girl. I can't take it. I think from the snippets you've just heard, it's a, it's a great album. You know, it's a great blues soulful album and uh, I really dig to it. Um, unfortunately, um, in this case, uh, for me, are the, the talking parts. But uh, it belongs to the album. He had an idea behind it. For me, it didn't work, work out, but it might work out for you in any way. The songs are just tremendously good. So I bought this record. I do remember exactly when I bought it and where I bought it. That's uh, kind of interesting when you buy records here. You kind of remember that. At least I do. 
Um, there's still the price tag on it. I paid five bucks for it. Um, I remember that record store, which was in the Netherlands, and it was quite dark. So um, I didn't see um, the record really, and uh, I wasn't using my, my phone lamp. Um, but anyway, it's pretty much beaten up. The five euros for me, from the point of view of today, were a little expensive because the record has two scratches. Uh, which is so deep that it uh, impacts a listening experience dramatically because my needle uh, jumps at track two and four on side A. It's so I have to always get up and, you know. But uh, anyway, what I really like about this, this is a gate four. It's just one record, but a gate four is that you have pictures from the actual recording session. And that's something I always enjoy very much because you hardly see that, that you see the people um, at work. And... Um, that's him, that's CC, uh, uh, there's him, and yeah, there's him as well. So that's pretty cool, um, I like that. You have the, um, you know, once again, uh, the, the, um, the songs listing, the people who were uh, involved in it, and uh, here also a write-down of the people who were involved with it. Um, front and back cover having the same pictures, and uh, you can see somebody uh, wrote their name, on the cover, I, I couldn't remove it, but anyway, um, let's talk about the record. I wish you could see the, the, the scratches on it. Um, it's still playable except for these uh, two tracks, but uh, when you go into record stores, um, make sure that you have some kind of tiny LED lamp or your mobile phone lamp that you can have a look over the record. Uh, especially by old used records where the cover is um, looking pretty much beaten up, uh, but these are experiences I had to make as well, is that you check the record. Because honestly I would have waited for another version to pop up one day or another to buy it. But anyway, um, this is this is side A, side, side 1. Um, yeah, the person also wrote their name on on the labels. Um, well, I hope. Yeah, you. No, I, I, yeah, some. Yeah, I think you can see some of those scratches uh, along the way. Uh, on side, um, on side two, I'll, I'll take the, uh, <laughs> I put my hands on it. The person uh, put their name and address on a sticker, which uh, I couldn't remove so far, so I put it on. Um, this is side two, side two. Uh, the person also wrote. Uh, the names down on it so um yeah that's uh that's side two and it's uh also pretty much pretty much pretty much beaten up but anyway it's a great record you can get it usually also a good version vg plus and better between five to fifteen bucks and you get a very good soulful blues records record and um yeah I, I would i would really like to to know your opinions uh about that record and especially the talking parts because this is the only concept album so far where the in between talking was for me something that didn't fit so well into the flow of the record but anyway uh that's it for for this week we see each other um the latest on next wednesday for another episode of hidden jewels of soul and disco I wish you all the best. I hope you are well, you're staying safe, you're healthy, you listen to good music. Thanks for the time, for watching, for subscribing, for sending in comments and emails and all of that. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I read and see and, and uh, answer each and every comment. And thanks again for taking your time. I'm wishing you all the best. Till next week. Bye.